Okay, we're live. The mic is on. Carlene's calculating. And let's see what we got for questions today. Uh, well, you're right. When you see me in the morning here, I'm having coffee, and the last thing I do before I get off is have a cup of coffee. So you know it's either the beginning or the ending of the day for me. Uh, what, what extra precautions do you suggest for dogs in oppressive heat besides lots of water? Uh, it's 91 in Michigan, heat and index of 100. How long should they be outside? Black, what color is the dog? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say. That is a factor. The dogs will slow down immensely in the heat. I hear a lot of people say, well, I, I put water out there, and then the water's been out there for two hours, and the water's as warm as the temperature is. Uh, you really got to keep changing that water. Um, they can't drink enough water. They, they're going to start to pant. They're going to start to drool. Um, I will often reach down and just feel their heartbeat. And when their heart beats really high uh, and they're not doing a whole lot of exercise, uh, that's telling me that they're trying to perspire and they're not having great luck with it. Shade counts. You know, there's just so many factors. Generally, when it gets really hot and the humidity is high and they look like they're having a problem, I get them inside. Yeah. We're fortunate here where we have the environment, whether it's winter or hot summer, that we can adjust to. Um, even today, you'll notice there wasn't a whole lot of activity out in Flatfield because it was pretty hot. It was 86 degrees, hot sun. Um, so the dogs aren't stupid. They know if it's better inside and it's cooler, they're going to go inside where it's cooler. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of leaving dogs out for long periods of time in the hot heat um, just because you're just asking for trouble. Got to change it. What's that? Two people stand there and talk to each other on a street corner. Both have black dogs. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. And the dogs are about to die. And the other thing is you got to be very careful about is pavement. Pavement. The pads pavement. of their feet will burn, and it will be too late. Before you know it, those will be burned pads, and then you will have problems. You will have infections and everything else. So uh, a lot of times in the, in the heavy, I've already done it this year, the hot humidity, you know, 80, 90 degree weather, I'll put my hand right down on the pavement, even if I'm going from the pavement into the grocery store, to make sure the pavement is not too hot for their pads. You, if you've seen dog pads that are burnt, you'll understand. They can get infections, it just blisters up, and then they don't want to walk on their feet, then you got real problems. So you really got to watch just why Carlene doesn't have pavement all the way down to the barn. You watch Bailey, she makes it to the grass. Yep. If there's one little blade of grass, she's over for it. She's not well for that out there. When I see people sit down in the middle of our, up here by Puppy Hill, we stand there and get talking to each other as they're going to and from the barn. Yeah. They got black dogs. Yeah. And they stand there. Just like black pavement, if you take black pavement, you take the yellow shiny line that's on the pavement. The yellow shiny line is reflecting that heat. The black pavement is sucking that heat in. So if a dog is a mantle and it's that heat is even more so uh, <laughs> sucking in on that dog. I don't know how how in an emergency you try and deal with it. I don't know whether a piece of rentals wrap on their along their back. Can't hurt. Yeah. Sort of a make do jacket. Well that would reflect because the black uh, dogs are a problem. You just have to think about it, I guess. It's you go, always go back to, if it looks wrong, it probably is. Yeah. Standing in line places. Yeah. You know, with a service dog. Son or, you know, you've got to think. Take care of your dog. Your dog will take care of you. I do notice that their food intake is a little bit less when it's really, really hot, but along with that is, so is their activity. So 
Um, as long as they're eating, don't get overly excited about that. Um, they may not eat as much or as fast, but that all has to do with the heat factor. So, you um, a couple ice cubes in a dish? Well, put ice in water before. Tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 90s with high humidity here. So we'll be watching the dogs. Have I ever been seriously injured while training a service dog? No, not a service dog. I have been bit by a police dog. <laughs> Come to find out it was my own dog. Um, while he was in training, I had to have a few stitches in my thigh. I had the suit on, but there's a gap between the suit like that. And he came right at it and bit right in there and caught his canine right on there and ripped my thigh right open. It was very efficient. He went right for the one spot that I didn't have protected. But service dog, I've never... Are we getting prepared for the whittle weigh-in? Yes, Devin's working on that. Devin's working on that? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, da, 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 there was other one other question here. Something about demeanor. Do I, is there any difference in demeanor between a male and a female? I look at every service dog as a dog. I really don't care if it's a male or a female because that's not how I put him into play anyway so that's why for how long did I call wrinkle he because I really don't that's out of my department by the time they're spayed and neutered it really yeah, they're all the, it doesn't yeah. become a problem I don't care whether it's a male or female I want to see how they're going to work that's so I'm that concentrate more on that but I, I, I don't know, even when I do know if it's a male or female, I really don't see any, there's no statistics in my mind or data in my mind that says, oh my goodness, that's a female or that's male, that's not going to happen, that's not going to happen. I look at them all the same. They need to perform a job, and as long as they can do that job, whether it's male or female, I'm really not inclined to. Uh, hi, Don. Um, yeah, Lynn, um, yesterday, we, and I was explaining this to Olivia yesterday, there are two different things that I wanted her to do. And that one was either on a mini mart where you're walking, um, we have a lot of them in New England, where you can walk outside and you're going by shop, by shop, by shop, by shop, with the doors and the windows and reflections and all that. But we also have the bigger malls that are the same thing inside. So. It doesn't matter to me if it's inside or outside, as long as I get Lynn to understand that. Walking by these big windows, walking by these doors, cross traffic and everything else, that's what I need Lynn to get used to, because for some reason, in the past, something has happened that has made her a little weary about that. Uh, and Lynn is getting better at it. So it doesn't matter if it's inside or outside, it just matters that the conditions that I'm seeing her being a re little reluctant to address are addressed. As we always say, we don't walk away from a problem, we address the problem so that we can fix it. Is she looking at the mannequins in the window? I had dogs have a terrible time with mannequins. It appears to me that Lint is afraid of doors opening up <laughs> as we're going by, because it could be a bathroom, it could be a shop door. Uh, I have a feeling she might have got tagged somewhere in the past. Okay, um, Carlene and Devin are going to do the, what do we call it, Whittle Weigh-In? I don't want to say that three times fast. <laughs> okay. Let me, you want this out of your way? Zero. 
five three call it. Patrick? That's okay, please. Oh my. Heavy fellow sliding around. My word. Hold still. He's shaking too much. Pick him up, start again. Okay, now put him down. In the middle. Tell him to stand still. You are a devil. <laughs> Five thirteen. Yeah. Very difficult reading. Phoenix. Who? Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. We have five. Seven. Five seven. Is everybody going up so far? Yeah. Brad. I'll go for five nine. Hi, Brad. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? It was Ned went up six. Ned's up six? Yeah. Podrick went up seven. Podrick seven? Brad went up five. Brad's five. Phoenix went up six. Six. Okay, we got them. They may now be returned to the milk bar. That looks easy, doesn't it? But you, now you got four of them in there. They all weigh about five. There's 20 pounds. Close. Six pounds each, whatever. Okay, so. I do have mail. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Next one. Vanguard. I don't think this is anything. I don't think this is nothing. Somebody at one point wanted to give us some stock or something. Uh -huh. So Annie opened it for us, but Annie works for Oh, them. she said it was closed. Yes, well, it's closed now. So yeah. now you've got a piece of paper that says it's closed. Nice. Okay, and here we have Davis again. Oh, Hello, Davis. Arizona tea she's on to. And Coca-Cola. Okay, we could do that. Geico insurance. I don't think so. It, I can't have Geico insurance because they don't they don't insure horse trailers. Who's this? Service talk project. That's me, sort of. This is Costco. It's here. 
Costco Anywhere card. I already got it. Begin using your card right away. I can't. I can't understand all. Here, you can understand all that. I don't understand it all. That's an advertisement. Uh oh. Publishers this could be it. This could be it. <laughs> this could be it, I tell you. No, they come to the door, though. Don't they come to the door? Uh, Everybody's screaming, you know. They wanted to let me know I'm almost there. As of the date of this letter, the prize number has been issued to you, and oh. we're waiting to hear from you. Oh, my word. We'll be waiting for responses from that notice. Well... I'm going to wait for a while. <laughs> I've bought enough crap. <laughs> it was kind of fun while it lasted, but that's enough of that stuff. Okay, next problem. Jan. Jan, and she mailed it on September 9th. No, September. July 9th. <laughs> I was close. You can have, oops, do you want that? There you go. Carlene and crew. Yay, Joe is coming to install the new cameras. That's true. I sure do enjoy watching Noelle and her snails, but I will be so happy to see pockets again, not to mention everybody and everything else. We'll be able, we will be able to see again back in the house. It will be soon gruel time. Yep, hopefully. Before you know it, Nopal will be giving you some more beautiful puppies. In my opinion, life can't get much better. Thanks again for all you guys do. Love, Joel. Jan. There you go. And I have this. In Indianapolis, Indiana, no horse shall be driven or ridden on any city street in excess of 10 miles an hour. Huh. Nearly 33% of the ice in the Antarctic glaciers is pendant. No. Oh, that's disgusting. No, I don't believe that. In, in something rather Iowa... It is illegal for any man within the corporate city limits to wink at a female with whom he's unacquainted. Bye. 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 Okay, we got all that. We do. We got one more. No, we don't have one more. Postal stuff from the Ipswich Water Department. This is an annual water quality report. Let's see what they, they tell you. We're not in violent. Ipswich has good water. We're not in violation of anything. interesting though to read. Okay. I won't bother right now, but Ipswich has good water. I, it, it's, it's, it's not too bad to refill your bottles around here. Out of the faucet. Not, not, right. You know what? Hey, Bentley? Bentley. Bentley. Bentley, Come you're on. in the wrong bag again. Switch beds. Come on. There we go. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's bad. Are we on camera? Yes, I hope. Yep, I see so. it. Thank you, Bentley. Okay. We're good. Okay, so we did that. And this is from Amazon. It doesn't say who it's from. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is mine. I ordered that. I have a terrible time with angles. Cutting angles in, in things is very bad. So this gimmick is supposed to be super, super angle thing. Right? I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with that. That goes to my toolbox department. Okay, and this is from somebody else. Live store, Washington. I don't know. Oh, 
copy paper? No, it's not copy paper. What is it? It's goodies. Ah. It's a lot of toys to play with. We're going to need some help with this here. All right. There's a bunch of sticks. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what the envelope here first. Bentley, you want to try it? Bentley, you want to try this? Oh, there's... Maybe you'll like me more after this. There's 20. We'll put that in there. Dear Carlene and crew, couldn't fit it all in one box. Many thanks for your patience and generosity, allowing us many hours of viewing. It's so much better than watching... <laughs> watching a scripted reality show. Yeah. I find myself laughing, crying, and talking back to the laptop. Please enjoy the Crazy Acres care packages. Thank you. That's sequin pack. That's very nice. You just gonna leave it there, buddy? You didn't want it? You want it? Okay. I gotta get the box out of here. I can't get the box out. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, there we go. Maybe I did. Yeah. What is this? We got more munchy sticks. Good boy, Benny. Like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? Tumbler. Mm -hmm. Tumbler, you want one? There we go. You want to hold that up? No, we can't have got it. Here, you'll put that up in front of the camera. That looks like a Christmas tree ornament. Yeah. Oh, it's the batteries. Those are the batteries. Wait a minute. Yeah, it has a button on it. it okay, be, here's the batteries that go in there. It needs uh, some sort of screwdriver. It needs to be very little. Well, here, <laughs> here. Let me get my little screwdriver. Uh, it's a very little screwdriver. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a little screwdriver. Whoa. I... Is that too little? No. Okay. This. Okay. That is very. And here we have some more toys. Pull, 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 fork. That's pretty funny. But the puppies are getting to the age where they're pretty soon going to use these, so I'm going to throw them over there. Whoopsie, look out. I'm going to throw another one over there. Okay. you got to get the plastic thing off them. Yeah. Here's another one. Wow, here's a soft thing. Wow. Oh, my word. Wow. That's very nice. That does look soft. It is. There's another one in here, too. Oh, forget about There's another one. Ooh. I wish they'd put a sign on them whether they're washed or not. Forget about the puppies. Bentley loves this toy. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Don't you like the toys? Feed a bee. We got that again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I know Bentley. It works. It's there, Bentley. Here, let everybody. Uh -oh. Here, let's get this down so everybody can see it. I need to screw this on. What was that? We well, took all three of them. Yeah. Here we have a feed of bee. Wildflower mix. What are you throwing around? No oh, problem. Yeah. Okay. Use your screwdriver. Okay, this is this is wildflower stuff. What are we doing now? Use your screwdriver. Yeah, my, thank you. Your very little screwdriver. My very little screwdriver. Oh, it's right tear this apart. Yeah. I don't know. It's in front of here. Okay. Oh, 
Does it shut off at all? Yeah, it just stops. There's that button right oh. there. Oh. It went off. Okay. Stay off. Okay, now we got these. These are lovely. Boy, are these lovely. Oh, very nice. I don't know. Hey, where are you going to bring me another one? I'm not ready. I got to have this. There's stuff in here. You want me there to are stuff in here. Yes. Get the rest there's of that. Oh, no. There's an envelope. I don't know what those in there. Oh, it's got hearts on it. Do you want me to put that on your bed? No. Or down low. Those? Yeah. They have to go down the chute. Yeah. You want know, somebody will now call us and tell us they're washed. What on earth? Well, this looks like trouble. Hmm. 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 I don't know what this is. Here's a piece of paper. Explain it to me. Highest quality seeds are selected for your area. Till the soil, one inch mixed seeds with approximately one pound of fine sand. Scatter on tilled soil. Press seed into deeper, whatever. Keep moist until plants established. If rainfall is an adequate supplement route. Supplement with watering. Covers a 25 square foot area? Wow. All right, we'll try anything once. Oh, here's the back side. Forever wildflowers. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have more wildflowers. Okay, we can do that. We can put them in there again. I'll put the other one in there too. What are you doing? Okay, so the wildflowers go over there. Okay. This doesn't go over there. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, I didn't finish. There was other things. There were other things to play with. And here we have pool pickers. There we go. We got poo pickers. Number one bestseller, me. Catherine Hepburn. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would be interesting. Okay. I did that, I did that, I did that, I did those. Those are done. Is that done? This is a new box. New right. box. Put right. the new box. New box. All right. New shooter coming out. Judith. Johnsburg, Illinois. Okay. We have here some poo pickings to go. Give me cardboard scissors, plastic bags, rubber bands, color pens, and I can't control myself. Use them in good health. <laughs> good. Judith, thank you. She's got a bunch of weird things written on my bed. Mistakes are too much fun to make, not to make them more than once. Oi, 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 this is one for, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. That's Steve. That's Steve. All yeah, over. that's Steve. <laughs> they're, they're wild here for Steve. What do you call a line of rabbits hopping backwards? Receiving hairline. <laughs> oh, that's Steve. <laughs> oh, these are these are special Steve ones. You want to put them over yeah. there? <laughs> special ones for Steve. Okay. 
today, and what have we here? Janet Locke? Manford, Ontario? Handmade yeah. dog waste bags. So you had to put the, sending them to another country, you gotta declare what's in the box. I wonder what they thought of that. Okay, there's that. Janet Lack from Ontario, Canada. Okay. We gotta open it up. What do you do with my knife? Get the knife? Put it back. Okay, let's see. What they look like. is her spirit, spirit stick. stick. She oh. needs a stick. We need a stick on it. I get them in the got them? Yeah. Don't, don't put them in there. Um, okay. The money for the fun, funny dollars, money for the fun fun. I have includes my spirit stick picture. My printer decided to print it part color and part black and white. Well, it, looks, <laughs> it looked unique, so I've enclosed it. Stop fighting with it. We have another paint stick. Yes, enclosed is twenty for the for the shirt and things like that. You're gonna put that on the stick, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Please look in the poo pickers as I hide the money in them. Thank you. Whoa. Oh. Hope Noel snail litter grows to wonderful service dogs for you and service dog. Good luck with Opal's upcoming litter. Thank you again for inviting you into your home through the explore camera. Isn't that wonderful? Now, she's hidden money in here. That we gotta find. I'll find it. dollars for the fun fund. I have a feeling that's it, but we better go through all of these just to be sure. You have to have look through all of these. And that's what your next job is. Because there was money between a couple. Oh, okay. And then this was another hole. If that goes with that, or back. They can go in the dog houses around the property. This one's very light, too. Very light. We're looking for the cameras. You know? Explore sent us more cameras. We haven't got them yet. Who's this from? Nope. I don't even recognize. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Somewhere I know we will. Grace is. I, Line them along the road. Yeah, whatever. Who are they from? I don't know. There's the UPS store. There's no name on here. Oh, yes, there is. Boy, is it tiny. Pat Randstrom. Seacombe, Washington. 
Attention Grace. It even says Attention Grace on here. That rants from? Okay. Laura. Our friend Laura who sends us cookies. There they go. We got cookies. Oh, and some out. Is that what we have? There we go. Okay. Keep in touch. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Laura. Uh oh. Oh, shit. You smell them. Let me get one out. I guess so. Ready? Yep. Open it? Yep. Ready, buddy? No, you don't have to turn my way that everybody sees what they are. What? Turn around. Okay. You want a knife? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not out. All right. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Was the good size. You got a red one for your friend over there behind you? A red one? Who likes the red one? Over there, and that over there, and this will be in here for a minute. And I'll go over there. Maybe. You're done. You're going to have that. You are done. Here we go. I'm out. In today's Daily Doggy, Carlene's human message of the passing. Oh, she's just talking about the passing of the dogs. Yes. Um, it was it was an old dog. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten. The owner's name begins with M and the dog begins. People were way behind on spirit sticks. <laughs> we need spirit sticks. That's I'm gonna true. I'm gonna try to post the color of the shirt. I'll put it on explore. What is the status of the chicks? Chicks are fine. Oh the chicks. But let me tell you all the story, the whole story. And I ordered $249 worth of chicks. It was to be 20 guinea hens, guinea keats, and 25 chickens back in March and I thought they would be coming forthcoming over the next couple months at least and it turns out they didn't hatch quite the way everybody thought things were going to hatch out there and they constantly called and changed the names and no whatever and so they the other day we had chicks at the, at the post office and we went roaring down and there were 15 chicks well they're supposed to mail 25 in a box you're not supposed to uh, ship only 15 because they keep each other warm. At any rate, there was only 15. And I had ordered 20 guinea keats and 25 regular chickens. So I now have 15. So then today, on Facebook, apparently, 
the local post office uh, central station had a box of chicks there with no no um, exact address on it. So they sent them up to the SPCA, who now has 12 guinea keys. Oh. Yeah. Um, don't know what happened to the others. But at any rate, um, whoever was out there at Stromberg's pack of these things must have had a bad day, because I, I didn't get what I was supposed to get either. But at any rate, um, they, and now that they have them, they can't give them away for four months because they have to test them for quorum or whatever that is. And so they're going to be stuck with the guinea keys. But they were, she, they said they were supposed to go to Oregon or something. I don't know. At any rate, that was all fouled up. So I called Stromberg to say, what on earth's going on? And she said, oh, my heavens. And she said, we'll send you 20, 25 chicks and 20 guinea keys. So that should be coming in the next weeks. I don't know. It got all fouled up. Kids are, it says, kids are, kids want to know your favorite childhood memory. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I used to, I used to trail ride horses. I had a, I had a horse, a large pony, big horse, whatever. And I used to go through trails, and I used to like that, because I was way off in the woods all by myself. I don't think you can even do that anymore. You have trails in the back. I know, but kids don't. You don't send a... Oh, no, kids, yeah. You don't send a 10-year-old kid out on a horse right here yeah. in the woods. Around here, you know? I don't know. Someone wants me to turn, to turn the mic towards you. Today, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, no. It's very hot here. <laughs> yes. We got all the firewood moved up. That was a big deal. <laughs> We're all ready for that. Oh, I missed. Mm -hmm. um, no, and I did, I did spend most of the day down in the outdoor office. You were in the outdoor office. I was today. in the outdoor office most of the day. And then we had ice cream. Mm -hmm. How many people? What did that ice cream bill look like? I think it, there was ice cream for 18 people. Well, how much was it? Three, four, um, talk about that part? 75. 75? 75. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Oh, three more comments. I think that's when we decided we weren't going to have supper. No? Yeah, that was our lunch. How is Bentley doing with being skittish? He's better. I think he's better. I still can't trust him, though, you know. Because um, he stops and looks at somebody. And then I have to hang on to his head and make sure that he's not going to make a mistake. Because mistakes on his size are bad. So I'm always very careful. I, did we open this? Did we open this yesterday? Oh, you might have. It's that, it's that stuff that we add to their food. Deborah Cannon, Marietta, Georgia. Thank you, Debbie. I think I opened this yesterday, but mm -hmm. it just never got put away. <coughs> okay, so that has to get put away. Other things to put away. There we go. Organized. Go ahead. Next. Maybe you should call the post office and tell them you're expecting more chicks just so the SPCA doesn't end up with them, end up with more. You can't. The post office is going to deliver stuff to whatever's on the, on the, they, could, they can't give me stuff out of the post office. It hasn't got my name on it. There's a federal law about that, I'm sure. The problem was this thing only had a partial address for somebody in Omaha or someplace out there. It certainly didn't have any of my address on it. So it did come from Stromberg's, but how it got into North Reading, Massachusetts, I don't know. How is Tumblr doing in the house? Tumblr's doing very nicely. It's crumped out on the sofa. Okay. Um, 
Carlene, when you get the buildings complete, what kind of supplies might you need to stock up the building? I don't know. We have an awful lot of stuff kind of ready to go. Um, like that microscope over there. Like a, like a scale. Mm -hmm. A couple sofas. <laughs> <laughs> that will be the only... And if we end up with a sick dog in there, we'll end up throwing the sofas out and starting again. We seem to be able to find sofas pretty easily around here. Does Megan the, finds them. Does the vet know when Daisy's going to have her baby? Daisy the donkey? Yes. No. It's Amazon Prime Day. Do you need anything? What's this? Is... It's Amazon Prime Day. Do you oh. need anything? Yeah, everything's on sale if you're a Prime member on Amazon. I'm a Prime. I'm a prime. I don't know what I need. I got, got an awful lot of stuff now. I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I, I really don't know. I have a whole bunch of papers I've got to deal with. Like read them. The building. Oh. The architectural building description. I'm used to standing there putting one brick on top of another brick and you hammer a couple of nails and into some boards and you put it all together and it goes up. Now, he's got a whole bunch of... Mm, 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 just to keep the building inspector happy. It's terrible. It's terrible. And furthermore, it's not the concrete blocks I was looking for, so... Um, he said he could change those, and that would be very good. I am going to go, I think, going to try to go with the Omni blocks that one of the camera people suggested. I've looked into them. I, they seem to be appropriate. Um, all we have to do is get them past the building inspector. But apparently, they have an R value of 19.6. You know what that is? You know that pink, fluffy st yeah, then, yeah. insulation stuff? Fiberglass? The fiberglass stuff. Well, I know that the stuff you put in the ceiling is six inches deep, mm -hmm. and it's R19. That's, that's, that's how, how bad the stuff goes up through it. Okay. The walls are R6, I think. But the, the, R fact, the higher the R factor, the less escape heat, escaping heat. Got that part? Good. Go on to the next one now. Okay. You got that. <laughs> Do you ever neuter your stud dogs for any reason? Do I never what? Do you ever neuter your stud dogs for any reason? Yeah, we don't really need them anymore as stud dogs. Stud dogs are a pain in the ass. But I don't. I can't remember ever having done that. Oh. Bumper? No. Bobby? No. Walter? No. 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 Lee, All no. the way down. No. Eagle? No. The next question is, Carlene, can me and Ivy buy you dinner? Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Betty, Betty, Betty. That's Betty. There's only, what, three of us here, four of us here? And Pam and Grace. That would Pam. be very nice, because I don't think we have any dinner. You're Jerry. <laughs> Still full of ice cream. Oh my I know. We really have, does anybody want to eat dinner? Let's start there. Do you want to eat dinner? Just, I mean, not much. Not, no, not like much. one pizza or something, right? Yeah, that would do it. Yeah. 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 Just one. Well, I think you need two pizzas because yeah. if there's six slices and there's okay, so eight people. So two, pieces? two pizzas? Ask her if she wanted to buy us two pizzas. I need to find out who it was. It's, it's Betty. It's Betty. Betty. Betty and I. It's something Cape Cod. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So just reply. So Betty's watching. So, Betty, two pizzas. Where do you get your pizza from? Pandoris. They'll bring it out. Pomodoris? Yeah. Pomodoris? I don't, think, I don't think she calls it. I think. She said, she said Pomodoris SP Hi. question mark. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Betty. It's a food lady. The food lady's here. <laughs> We're just talking about food. We don't have anything to eat. It's like, um, you know what you can do, which is really good? I did it for my salad, was I put this pasta salad. It's not like really mayonnaise -y. It's like a really nice 
pasta salad. Okay. I don't know. Put it on top of your salad. Wow. Oh. Okay. Put it out there in the kitchen. All right. You just Perfect bought something timing. in the garage. Smash the pizza. Yeah. yeah, but we were just talking about That's I'm fair what point. Pauline was going to eat. That's unbelievable. <laughs> we don't have anything to eat for tonight. Somebody was just offering us by us dinner. And you walked well, in. Well, you could take the, I mean, I think there's yeah. plenty here. How many are you? Oh, there's a lot there. Okay, all right, all right. Good. That's and it's wonderful. so hot. I, it's yeah. Like it's like a, yeah. it would be a nice, refreshing meal. Wonderful. It's a goldy thing. We just got That's something, that. Betty. That's Goldie. Blue Penguin's asking for <laughs> Oh, stop. Oh, no. We'll wait. Blue Penguin's asking if you need any of this. Tums, cookies, fluffies. Yeah, I know. We were just talking about all this and no, 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 no. Blue Penguin's asking if you need Tums, oh, tums. cookies, fluffies, goat milk, tea pads. Nope. Nope, no. no. No, I, we're going to need pee pads eventually, but we don't yet. Okay, five new clothes. Stop it. No. So, Betty, she said she's going to call you. She's calling me? Yes. Okay. <sighs> That had it? Everything's been refrigerated. Ah, there's no more questions. Oh, yeah. Pam, you figuring that out? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. You That's her that dinner out? that just came in. Okay. All right. Salad and what did you bring us? Mm. That it? Okay. Yep, that's it. Is it a wrap? It's yeah. a wrap. Shut off the microphone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.